Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So, we are planning to get into the Emerald Vale, but most of all, I kind of want to sleep. Which seems like a, such a weird main goal of our mission, but that's kind of what I want. I need to find a way to uh, just uh, have the power thingy. So, I can access to my own quarters on the ship, which allows me to sleep. That would be nice. If not that, then we might need to do some drugs if there are any that allows me to. Uh, maybe coffee? Actually, coffee. We got some coffee, don't we? Fast ration pill? Is there a way to... Okay, let, let's, let's do some coffee. Dehydrated water. Um, coffee? Nico pad? High? Nicotine high. Rage weapon spread. Yeah, that's not what we care about. Are there any... No, I don't think we have coffee. But I think you might be able to buy coffee. Caffeine drink. I don't know. It gives me mind attributes. Which we can use to up our perception. But it's not relevant right now. Yeah, let's just... Let's just screw it. And... Uh, it seems like we cannot... Drink coffee instead of sleeping. Big surprise. I didn't expect that it's going to work, but who knows? It's a game. Might work with game logic. Okay. Uh, I should definitely keep an eye out for these explosive barrels because they could be quite helpful in dealing with threats. Uh, and also, I only have six med kits. That's not a lot. Okay. So apparently, there are some drugs here that I might be able to get. Not sure. Yeah, cash of medicine, right? It's in here. Argument can be made that, you know, maybe I should leave it. At least for now. God. I just go inside. I'm way too furrow to do that. Okay. Body. Taking their stuff. Encumbered, of course. Uh, we can just uh, scrap some crap. Uh, we can list. This seems like a con console based system. Weight to value ratio. And we're gonna break this down, break this down, break this down, break this down, and this down. My, actually, my strength is just going down. I'm suffering such heavy penalties. Look at this, minus two, minus two. That's minus two, minus two, minus one, minus two. Wow. Oh, this is the book, right? No? Or what is this? No, it's not the book. Pure water. Helpful. Mm. Oh, we can get some Adreno. Space is choice. Uh, handy, right? Although I believe we can buy it for cheaper. Oh, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, a massive uh, bonus for what we got. Heavy armor. But very tanky. It's only 170? Okay. Uh, maybe I should just sell stuff. 
So, wait, that's, uh, what, what, what if I sell? I don't think we get the best uh, prices here. Spacer's Choice Revolver. Maybe not even the best best stuff. But that seems like pretty good stuff for me. Spacer's Choice, Light the Soul Rifle. Uh, that's a long gun. Heavy magazine. What I would like is a long gun with light magazine that's actually have long range. Heavy weapon with that uses light ammo. A lot of DPS, but I suspect it's not very efficient. Uh, actually, we can check that. So it deals 19 damage. And the pistols, that's not actually that bad, but I suspect it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, less accurate than we uh, would like. But yeah, the DPS is pretty impressive. I don't know. Maybe we come back if we need Adreno. But we prefer to deal with uh, humans, I believe. Because there we can use our charisma. Or I can check the price. I think, yeah. It's cost 50 to buy Adreno here. But we're just gonna check humans. Was bored from this side. Wow, Fruity, get inside. Hmm? You hiding? You scared? Coming. Nice one. No, yeah, it is a nice one. And he's dead? Let me close this. She's dead? What the hell, game? I'm dead too. <sighs> How did that continue? What's, what's continuing here? That's gotta be the auto save. So we're gonna go. Oh no no no! We are back here. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I'm not sure what we're gonna do because obviously we didn't get set back too much this time, but we still got. Oh fuck! What did I do? Just wasted a eating thing. I'm not sure why I keep pressing F. So that was brutal. I can still list by weight value and break down some stuff. I'm not sure what to do. What did I do wrong? Are we just weak to come here? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Let's get in here. I think the shotgun is just garbage. Yeah, that's just garbage. I should just use my best weapon. At this point, we don't have much of a choice. It's best or nothing. And even with best, it's super, super hard. And and I need to use always her her movement skill of just uh, hide somewhere. We need to take cover. Like it just doesn't work without cover. I might have to change the Take cover, take cover. Don't, don't, go there. don't go there by your own. We need to kill him with crossfire when he comes in. Sure. Go there. That was, that was very well done. 
Okay, right. moving out. I'm gonna compliment myself. Also, I'm gonna change the hotkey. So... F is not going to be the inhaler. I'm not sure what's going to be the inhaler. T is quick melee. I'm kind of fine with that. Is there anything G? So, if not, I might make the inhaler G, which still makes it fairly accessible. And I'm going to make the tactical move, if I can, please make, make, make it a thing. Companion move, F. Her companion ability is C. And attack is X. I think we can deal with that, but I think F is a lot more accessible. And that it's gonna make it a little bit less awkward. I am pretty eager to make this fight system work. It does seem like a little fussy. Let's just see. Sentry Saber. Uh, we definitely want to use some of our mods. have to play it very tactically. Moving. Good. Sure. Now that's on my way. Now that's a lot better. Wow. We dealt with the same guys, I believe. In a way that just was effortless. More necklace. Oh. Take the shot. Sentry Saber. Adreno. Weapon parts. Pretty good. If it's so easy, I'm going in a jiff. I might even use pistol here. Sure thing. I'm going. Go there. Well, Master Hooligan guy died. Gotcha. Is he downstairs? Oh, he's coming us to us. Sure. Right there. You hiding? Wow. Huh. Well, oh, fuck. Oh, he's not dead. Wow, not he's even dead a now. scratch. Okay, this is pretty good. Also, the stunning hammer is really, really good. So as long as we can like deal with people one by one, really strong. Uh, nine armor helmets. I can give it to myself or just give it to her. Uh, she needs it more than I do. Look at look at that. How selfless I am. In most games, I would just like, I'm taking the best loot, okay. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. I like it. We just have to uh, play it like, just pretend like we have a brain. Basically. I don't even have to use a soul drive all the time. Okay, seems like we still yet to clear out the main chamber. Coming back. Yeah, just 
I have to make sure that uh, I tell her to come back. It's... I wish it was on a different button, but I don't think there there is one to... No, there's... Uh, it's the same button. Companion move and hold follow, so that's basically you pressing it for like one second. Cartridge. Well, this is uh, a little pricey. Let's do it. Oh, I don't have hack twenty-five. Actually, I have hack twenty-five. I know that, don't I? I I've, I'm supposed to have hack twenty-five, but I I don't because of the dumb penalties. I'm, I, I have hack 30, but I have less because of the first and fatigue. I can't help on my fatigue. I can help on my thirst a, a little bit. Maybe I should actually do that. So, dehydrated water. Uh, let me drink that. Pure water. Okay, this is pretty good. I, it, I also eat something like mock apple, maybe maybe like a bunch of manners. But I really need to sleep. That bar should be filled all the time. Okay. How many people are here? Here goes nothing. It's pretty good skill. Okay, what the hell he was doing? Nice. Checking out some doggies. Coming soon. Mushrooms. Wow. Can't wait to see that. So, companion skills should be. Oh, fuck. Used. So I started the game with quite a lot of ammo, like 100, and I managed to get a lot of ammo since then, but not like ammo is infinite. Here I go. Super dead bug! Woo! No hard feelings, okay? Where am I supposed to sleep? This is... Oh, what? The only concern I have right now is that I can't sleep. For as far as I know. <clears throat> Everyone, the keycard encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting uh, keycards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a keycard uh, from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose a card. Okay. I must... Uh, large complaint. Your obsession with this Manti Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. What? It's about the Manti Queen? I just not read everything. Oh, pick this. Easy. Sort of shotgun, tech kit, gyro. Assault rifle. Split hide. What is this? Riot control armor. Another sort of shotgun. Maybe we can sell these. That's not very good. I guess this is more for a stealth fighter who just sneaks around and kills people, which could be like pretty fun. Uh Based on the distribution of these enemies, it's certainly a very viable playstyle. So, we should go to the second floor, and we can't go in here. 
Oh, we already have. Uh, okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Sure. Sure. Oh. Great. Encumbered! Uh, can I list by value weight ratio? So this is crap. This is a uh, 6 value for 1.5 weight. 8 value for... This is the stump baton that I just find. Um, so, what about this? Weight value. Space is choice. Let's scrap it. And these are kind of crap. Alright. I'm, I'm keeping the stump button just for now. It seems bad, but whatever. So we managed to find the medicine. And that's it. Seems like we checked out the whole place. Second floor, which was uh, a little short, perhaps. Did I check everything out on the second floor? Seems to be it. Alright. Uh, let's use the front entrance. Okay. Okay. So, not too, not too bad. As long as I know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't mind a little challenge. Spacer's choice! So, I'm pretty tired. Very tired. I have no idea. Oh. Uh, we can also fast travel here, but no, we can't fast travel here. So, we can turn in the medicine, but we're not gonna do that. We have to deliver Reed's message. That way. Makeshift low pressure suit. Wow, that's still nine armor. Um, isn't that an upgrade for her? X skills five. Both give tax skills five. And this can be modified. Wait. Uh, does my character have enough? Apparently. If you have high enough skills, then you can modify your gear on the fly. But no, my engineering is quite low. Field repair. Repair weapons and armor in the in the inventory. Okay. Improve your weapons and armor in the workbench. I think you can't, yeah. Tinkering cost minus 50%. That seems like a good one to go for. Look at the penalties I'm dealing with. Insane. But mainly I'm dealing with these penalties. Wait, what happened to my intelligence? It doesn't even have penalties now? Like, what happened? Did I just become dumber? I don't know. It doesn't even say that I have penalties. I obviously do have. <sighs> Weapon parts. Oh. And water. So everyone's seemingly just abandoned this area. People left their homes. Their beds, please. I need to sleep. I don't care if people come in. I don't care if the marauders stop by. I'm going to die because I'm so tired. 
Or how do you sleep? I don't know. I just assume that you sleep by... Uh, I don't know. Just going to your bed on the ship. Maybe you just have to go to the ship and do something. I don't know. Probably not in the menu. That would be just not immersive. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Yeah. Like, if you think about it a little bit, it's not... Not really a good way to sell your scrap. Grace Romero. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Okay. Hey there. <clears throat> I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Oh, but it is here. I'm looking for Adeline. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. You do? <clears throat> I'm looking for the geothermal plants. Know anything about it? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Sounds good to me. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Uh, so where can I find her? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Fair enough. Uh, we all got problems, I just got shot into space. You and me both, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well look at you, buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I can look for her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. I see. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Oh my god. Don't worry, I'll, I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Um, I'll leave you be. But we'll find Zoe, maybe, if, if she can be found. What is this place? Deserter. Keep your wits about you, friend. I would be stealing. Spacer's choice. Stefan Garcia. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Anything not Something canid? I can help you with? Not canid related stuff. Ooh, I'm told one of your numbers got missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. So, tell me about her. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. You're right to be <coughs> careful. Why was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Alright. So, what was that? What, what was that about surprising Zoe? The other day, I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Right. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You don't seem too shaken up about it. 
Hold on, there there was something else. Hey, I got time. All right. Uh, what are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Oh, so you're just selling food. Three thousand five hundred. That's not a crazy amount of DPS. Primal letter. So he's not really selling a lot of good stuff. Uh, we can buy some food and a bunch of candid meats. Or we can buy ammo. But it seems it might be better that we're just conservative with our ammo. Is it like one a piece to buy these? How does it work? Escape. Oh, we have 4% discount, which is not super impressive, but I guess it's better than 0% discount. Nice one. <laughs> Close the door behind you! I should leave you die. Hey, that's against regulation! Sorry. What do you think you're doing? I fucked up. Bribe, I'll pay you 29 bits to look the other way. Leave the conversation. Lie nothing at all. Oh, would this work? I was just leaving. Carry on. Wow, I managed to. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'm leaving. Zertu's reputation decreased. Sorry about that, guys. You fucked up. You know this, Parvati. You fucked up. What are you gonna say about this? Yeah, huh? Ah. I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. Oh, we don't need to have super high perception. Just uh, not die of thirst. Not not. Well, well, not really dying of thirst. Actually, does it? That's on account of how I never met her. Oh. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That sucks. Is that normal? I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Alright. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. You're a mechanic. Whatever you see, whenever you see a machine, it's... You need a fixing. Huh. I like that line. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Don't sell yourself short. It's always journal. Oh, actually, we should read that. Come in here! Come in here! Can't believe you got me busted. <clears throat> well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Uh, bands of the wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted uh, the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. 
living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. <clears throat> I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adeline's food, and I've got some spare cans of Saltuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my back and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizos. Oh man. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'am. And would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the cannery and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh, wow. I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everyone got sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. So, no papers in the toilet! God damn it. We're stealing the poster. That looks sweet. What's this place? Cumbered, yeah, we can't run. Uh, let's wait to value list this thing. So this is not very good or valuable. Sawed off shotgun, not very valuable. Revolver, not very valuable. Space's choice! Wait, what's up with my pistol? No, this this works. So it seems like the companion doesn't use ammo. So probably any weapon that uh, is like an ammo hose, maybe a heavy weapon, is gonna be an excellent choice for them. Island Spring, the password. <sighs> May the eternal bless by <clears throat> my first endeavor, endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at the Ed Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational. Who made this log? Unclear. Mostly the soil's sour, I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some powerful fertilizer. Tired of having the taste of saltuna lingering on my tongue, day in, day out, I want something fresh, something that grows out of the earth. <clears throat> we found another worker from Edgewater, ex-worker now. Desertation rates must be climbing. I'm not terribly surprised, Reed's style of management has always been 
tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the worker was in a sorry state. Fever, shallow breathing, delirious, must have been plagued. I set him right with a diet of greens. He was all better in a couple of weeks, physically, spiritually, and he's one of our flock now. Experimental notes. I'm hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless automaton of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacer's Choice products, it's cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand the horticulturalists failed to produce a single viable crop, something about the soil being too poor. I am determined to find a way. May the eternal smile upon my endeavors. So whoever is writing this is uh, somewhat religious. <clears throat> Flora are living things, as sensitive to their environment as any breeding, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists standing to them are cold, heartless, inhumane people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhumane power. One cannot expect your crops to flush with green and reach for the sky under these conditions. That's a little naive. I mean, maybe they are not as desperate to make it work, but right. The soul is sour, true. I don't know quite how to explain that. I'm sure the scientists will say something about biology or the carbon cycle, but I can conclude after months of my own experimentation that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention and compassion, and the natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. I mean, okay, the first part kind of sounds whatever, but yeah, I mean, fertilizer kind of helps. So, who's the boss here? Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah, that looks looks good. I mean, she's obviously doing something right. It's the outside. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Yeah. You must be at Adeline. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother. The strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Right. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Is this your greenhouse? Maybe we should try to get to know Adelaide's uh, situation and uh, just point of view before we try to uh, get to business. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe. And the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Looks like you've made a home for yourself out there. So, this seems pretty good. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A 
home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. The question is, is this method reliant on power? Because it seems like that, that it is. Why did you leave your own home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. That's super unhelpful. Thank you. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. Question is, why would you agree to his plans? I need the power regulator to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. It seems like both places have power now. The only problem is that maybe I'm I don't really agree with the policies in Edgewater, but I don't think that they necessarily need to be torpedoed that they don't have power and everyone has to live here. Uh, what do you have against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I agree with you. I don't much like you throwing that in her face. Get me on your side. Uh... May I, I can excuse it. I can excuse it because... Yeah. But, but it's, you know, I can excuse it, still. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Oh, you leveled up. Oh, look at that, Parvati. I'm still about to die of sleep deprivation. We somehow have to figure out how to... Uh... Avoid that fate. Divert power from the geothermal plant. And where is the geothermal plant? So the geothermal plant is over there. 
So they are both saying that I should just die with power from the geothermal plant. Do I really need to do that or I die? That's just insane. Right? That's insane. No. <laughs> okay. By the way, I think we need to... No, no, no. Medical, engineering. So yeah, my, my base is... I think I need to up my medical. No? I don't know. Revert. Science. How can I heal my companion more? Unlock, unlock second drug mixing slot for inhaler. More drug mixing slots. I don't know if that's really what I care about. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Salgus so vending machines. It seems like my uh, conversational skills are, are very much high enough, so that's not a problem. My weapons might be, you know, they could use some, some bonuses. Leadership is good enough now, so that's fine. Stealth, I don't know about this. Restricted items in vending machines. Engineering. So this is boosted up. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. So that could be a good way to uh, just make sure that we have max damage all the time. I think I need to up my long guns, most of all. I, I need to deal more damage, I think. So we're going to apply that. Time, dilation, location hits. Oh yeah, for other weapons. Uh, and now we can pick a perk. Tactical time dilation, meter max. Uh, we're not going to be alone. I might go for the sprint speed because it, it helps us travel. 24% faster travel. Companion crit chance is something that probably would help us in the long run. I think vendor prices uh, could be useful. But not super important right now. I don't know about this base armor. I think sprint is just going to be the most uh, obvious. Not necessarily combat improvement, but... Improvement for just uh, wasting less time with uh, moving around. A journal. Parvati does not have any perks, which is fine. So I'm level four. She's probably level four, or I'm not sure if it matters. She's level four too. And I can still check out this place. Maybe I should just look into, like, how do you sleep in this game? Do I really need to do the mission right now where I lose the game? <laughs> that's just crazy. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Parvati had such a hard life. Thomas Camp. Got it. Let's talk to him. Oh, there's a workshop here. I can make my gun better. Condition 100%. But what if I tinker? Try to tinker with this gun. Oh, I can make it better. For bits. I can increase the damage for bits. That's not what I want. I want to modify it. Install mod. I can install magnum, which increases 
uh, damage per minute. Just what? Is that damage per minute stat? Rounds per minute. Magazine size. That's not super important. This increases the. This makes the weapon deal shock damage. This lowers the spread a little bit. Not super important. These mods are all very marginal. Does this have access to different mods? No. Okay. We can put in another magnum or what? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's talk. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. You were. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running. Please just like you. Me. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm a marauder. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, oh ain't we? Oh, my God. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. What? Never too late to start learning. I can give you a few pointers. That's amazing! In most games, you just, you're the one who's getting the training, but I'm giving him the training. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You do that. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Sounds great. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I was in the community center. What about the third pad? I'll let you know if I find anything. I expect a fair price for my... What about the third pad? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Uh, I expect to be rewarded for my trouble, uh, Tom Scamp, who's really into my companion. I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. If, by some miracle, you can bring me the full set, I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. All right, I'll let you know if I can find anything. Don't I have one already? Would you? I'd be grateful. Okay, let's go. All right, Parvati. Let's leave your love boy. Oh. oh, I can pick up the power regulator. But they would be pretty mad about that, I suspect. I was just like, oh, uh, honest mistake. Uh, just misclick. I was just uh, trying to steal. Oh, I mean, um, a fall on it. I don't know. It would be really hard to explain. Okay, we're not taking your stuff, uh, sheriff guy. I'm a little surprised that a lot of them locked their doors. Not a deserter. Very trusting community. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Parvati. I don't know. I think we just have to head toward the main quest. 
Yeah. Uh, how, how do I go there, though? Uh, seems like we just have to follow the the lines. So that's it. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and we might actually have to go back to the ship. Because if we go back to the ship, maybe I find a, a way to rest. Maybe I should just read after that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, see you next time.